Well, I got a lot of advice at the beginning of my career. You know, the best advice I got, I think, was to um, be very skeptical of specific advice. And I think it's good advice. You know, if anybody ever advises another person about what to work on, um, that is something that I would be very cautious, uh, especially if I were a younger person, about following that advice. We should all work on what we think is the most interesting uh, thing to work on. Um, so, um, very abstract, maybe not all that helpful, um, but I think the best advice I ever got was to be very skeptical of specific advice. Good advice involves things like try hard, think hard, follow your gut, treat others uh, in the same manner that you would like to be treated. This, this is the type of advice that stands the test of time. But intellectually, um, my advice to people is to really um, be curious, allow the curiosity of the child in us all to formulate um, where your science will go. My advice to younger researchers is, is, a, bit, um, is a bit idealistic um, in the sense that um, all researchers are under uh, a certain type of pressure these days to publish a lot uh, and of course to publish in highly visible journals uh, with, with um, you know, so-called high impact factor journals and, and this is a good idea, it's very important. Um, but I guess a particular type of advice I would share with uh, younger colleagues uh, comes from my experience as a, as a mid-career person, I suppose I can say that I'm a mid-career person now. Uh, when I uh, read evaluations of, of younger scientists coming up for tenure or other types of promotion. But I think it's in the writing of full papers, actually, where we as scientists uh, have an opportunity to reveal our scientific soul, if you will. And I think it's um, something that uh, ideally um, gives people uh, uh, an opportunity to contribute work that will stand the test of time, not because the work will never be improved upon. That's the nature of science. It's in particular the nature of any type of science that's methodological. Methods today will be replaced by better methods tomorrow. But the thought process that led to the implementation of a new method or the execution of a new synthesis or the observation of a new reaction mechanism that is the kind of thing that people will always want to understand. Um, so that's my advice to young colleagues. Please share with us your, uh, where your scientific heart is and where your scientific soul is because that is a place um, where you have a great opportunity to educate all of us in the field about what it is that led to your greatest findings. And I like to think that the Journal of Organic Chemistry will be a, a, a really a, a great place for all of us to contribute and read about these types of intellectual exercises.